Good evening for the Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster and member. So, my name is Jack. I believe all of us, all of you guys, are still my name. So, in this room, every one of us has a unique name because it's given by our parents. So, our name is all different. So, my name is Jack, but that one is just my nickname. So, what is my full name? My full name is Chin Yi. Two words on it. Chin, C H I N, E, just a double E. Yes, it's short enough, right? Because in my friends, my yeah, my circles of friends in Chinese, they usually have three words, but mine is only two words. Therefore, I was also curious, why is it only two words? And I asked my mom, why my name is just only two words, not three words? It's different from my friends because my friends usually have three words. My mom told me, I give this chin yi to you because there's two purposes. The first one, it is easy to remember. If you did anything very ambitious or very horrible in your life, in your school time, or in your workplace, you will be easily remembered by others, your colleagues, your friends, or the public, everyone. <laughs> That's why this is the first one, easier to remember. How about the second one? Convenient to use. I said, um, convenient to use, but how? How convenient was it? Try imagine. If you go into the interview, you have to fill up a what do you call that? A application form. So if there are hundred of them compete with you, so you can use the shortest time to fill up your name. <laughs> and you can pass it to the to the to the host company immediately. So you have the advantage. Wow, I just know that. Okay, which is great. But the thing is, my mom said even though these two goggles is giving me an advantage, but I don't feel that. During my primary time, I was quite embarrassed to use my name Chin Yi. Because what? During my primary one to primary six, all the teacher will just ask me two questions when we first met the teacher. The teacher's first question is, um, Chin Yi, why your name is so short? Of course, I won't explain as just not the two purpose, but easy to remember, <laughs> very convenient, because I was just a primary kid. So I just tell them, I don't know, my mom, my dad, give me that name, so I just use it. I think you should question my mom. <laughs> yes, it's a kid. This is a kid's answer, I know that. And slowly, when I proceed to my secondary secondary school, so I feel that, huh, this name should be. Oh, sorry, I guess I missed the second, second question. The first one is asking about my name. The second one, which is not related to my name, but it's still us, he said that, Chin Yi, why your hair is very curly? Yes, it's a bit curly, I know that. And I just said, um, this one I can answer. That. This one is natural one. I didn't go, like, because the teacher asked, is it you go to perm? Yeah, just primary <laughs> kid, you go to perm, you're like, no, no, no. Because my hair is naturally this curly. It's moderately, it's not very curly or not straight, you know, but moderately curly. So, as I will continue, I proceed, when I proceed to my secondary school. So I found that Chin Yi, this name, is getting more embarrassed. Why? Because I have Few of, I have two best friends. Actually, I have a lot of best friends. But I mentioned these two because these two best friends, they have a wait, but that, younger sister. The younger sister, the name, is almost similar to my name. It's called some, I, sorry, I said, Go Chin Yi. The, but the E is Y E E. It's not double E. And then I think it's similar to two of my best friends. Yeah, they have a daughter and almost similar name. Here, feel that. Why my name is almost sounds like a girl's name is that I don't want that. So I try to find a nickname for myself. During that time, I don't have very much game. I don't have a console. I don't have a what do you call that? A entertainment like Astro and all those stuff. What left to me the choice is a poker card. Yes, a 52 pieces of poker card. That's why I try to find a name for it. 
So we, we all know that poker card has the number from 1 to 10 and then jack to ace. So I first thinking the highest card is ace, right? We know that. Ace. You try to put it in my name, my, because my surname is Chin. Ace Chin. Does this sound good? It sounds a bit weird. So I said, okay, it's not cool. I don't want to use it. <laughs> the next one. King. King Chin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like it sounds more weird than the first one. So I'm not using it at all. Again, eliminate. Of course, I'm not using queen, right? I'm not a female, obviously. <laughs> so jack, the third one comes to jack. Well, it's not the highest card, but jack, try to put it in my circle. Jack chin. It sounds smooth, right? It sounds, in my personal pers uh, perspective, I, I feel like it sounds smooth. I'm not sure. Oh, you got it. Oh, you feel that? It sounds smooth. Okay, then I just go with jack. But during my secondary school, I'm not really using this name, promoting this name yet, using my name. So, I start using this nickname often during my pre-university, which is the secondary, lower and upper sense, up until today. So, nowadays, my friend is just calling me Jack. But the thing is, even though my best friends since primary, secondary, are now calling me Jack too, which I feel like a bit, uh, not really sad, but a bit weird because during my secondary time, they, all, they, used, they used to call me Chin Yi all the time and now they start calling me Jack. The thing is, I feel like, if you guys are a long term, um, you should know me for 10 years already, you should just keep maintaining call me, calling me Chin Yi. Even though, at my kid's time, I was really don't like this thing. But as a person, as me, growing mature, so I feel like, actually Chin Yi and Jack, it doesn't matter. It's just a way to address yourself. So, as for now, because at that time I created a nickname, I was trying to make myself look cooler <laughs> and amazing and marvelous, marvelous. But for now, as a, as a great major, I don't feel like these things is really important. Jack, you call me Jack, you call me Chiki, it doesn't matter, it's just a way to address yourself. But the most important thing is, you have to uh, have a ability, great ability and personality. This is what I feel more important than just the name. So that's why I joined Toastmaster. Because Toastmaster is a platform for me to develop my communication and leadership skills, resulting in a greater <laughs> self and personal growth. And then I will be my